Bachelor Optic Midnight and today I'm actually bringing you guys uh, a little bit of a prediction video. I don't usually do these before the major tournaments but this tournament that's about to happen, Call of Duty Champs obviously at the end of this month is huge and to me what's even huger is uh, this, this regionals tournament that's happening this weekend. So if you don't know, now you know the United States COD Champs, that's right, regionals for the United States is happening this weekend in Orlando, Florida. It's going to be live streamed on MLG TV and basically it has the top six team or yeah top 16 teams that qualified from the United States for that and then eight of those teams are going to qualify for the COD Champs that's right the million dollar tournament at the end of this month so I thought why not bring a little bit of a predictions video keep in mind these are just my predictions I'm not saying this is how it's going to happen because really I don't think anybody knows how it's going to happen this is just my thoughts my opinion uh, I'd like to see your guys' comments down below what you think about my predictions and possibly maybe your own predictions. So I'm going to take you guys step by step through the bracket as how it is posted right now on MLG.com uh, and I'll, I'll give you guys my opinion. Alright guys, so let's get into the predictions. Obviously this is the bracket as like I said that I found on MLG's website. This is how the bracket is laid out so I'm going to assume that this is how it will be. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through the winners round and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go through every matchup here Just kind of quickly I might say a couple things about each matchup that I think so obviously number one up there You have complexity versus final boss first seed versus the 16th seed if you don't know Final boss is actually the team that's kind of like the the old-school halo pros got together and they are Call of Duty team and you know I've, I've seen them play online and they're a pretty good team But obviously I have to take complexity in this one uh, and that's that's just gonna be my prediction for the very first match That's actually gonna be the very first match that you see on Saturday strictly business versus phase This might be an unpopular opinion, but I honestly think that phase is gonna come out swinging This might be the first inkling where you're like midnight You have no idea what you're talking about and maybe I don't but that's just what I think I think that phase We'll edge it out over uh, Strictly Business there, and I think that they're going to take the W in that first round. They are seated really similarly. I think that FaZe uh, did a really good job in picking up Proofy and obviously having J-Cap. Um, Strictly Business is a really good looking squad. Uh, they have really good players, and Sensor obviously uh, is a two-time national champion. Uh, I believe it's two-time. So he knows how to win, but I think that FaZe is going to take this one. Obviously, I'm going to have to go with Optic taking out Elevate right here in the first round. I'm pretty sure you guys know my opinions and predictions for Optic already. I have Envy beating out TVA in the first round here as well. Curse Las Vegas taking out Living the Dream. Uh, I think that Just Us is going to be able to beat Curse New York. I think Curse New York has had a lot of uh, what seems to be uh, roster changes, which could mean, you know, maybe it's a little bit unstable. And uh, Justice actually did really well at their most recent event, which obviously was MLG Columbus. So I'm excited to see them play again, and I think that they will take out Curse New York. Here I have Denial taking out Vex. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I had never heard of Vex. I went and looked up their roster, and I've only heard of one player on there. I think his Demon is the person I heard of. I think that Denial can definitely uh, step it up in the first round and take them out. And then the good old boys at TK, I think that they're going to be able to take out Adversity. Even though TK does have a new lineup uh, by adding Formal, uh, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what they do and, and how they perform. So that's going to take us right over to the losers round one side of things. Uh, these placements, where these teams are placed on this bracket, is actually what I based off of from the challenge bracket, which I will link down in the description below. I do not know if this is exactly how the bracket will look, if these are the actual matchups that will happen, uh, but that's just what I gathered from how the challenge bracket is laid out. You can check that out in the description. So let's just quickly go through these. I have SB taking out Final Boss, Elevate taking out TVA, Curse New York taking out Living the Dream, and Adversity taking out Vex. I might not know these teams as well as I know like your complexities, your optics, your envy, but these are just based on, you know, for uh, uh, previous LAN performances. There could definitely be some upsets in the loser's bracket, especially early, but this is just what I think. Now moving on to winner's round two, I'm going to have Complexity taking out FaZe. I think that Complexity is still a really strong team, although they don't look as strong on Ghost as they did in Black Ops 2. Obviously because I think Ghost is a little bit more of an inconsistent game. They're still consistently winning, and I think that they'll take out FaZe here. And this second round matchup that you guys see, Optic versus Envy, I have Optic winning that one. You guys know, I might be a little bit biased, 
but I really do think they could do it. That is going to be really an intense matchup on day one of the regionals uh, qualifiers. That is going to be a match that everyone's going to want to see. Envy versus Optic. The rivalry is real. It's going to be an awesome match. Then I have Curse Las Vegas taking out Just Us and TK knocking Denial to the loser's bracket. And uh, that's how I think it's going to go on uh, winner's round two. Let's go on to loser's bracket round two. I have these filled in. Like I said, I don't know if this is exactly how they will be filled in, exactly how the matchups will plan out. But that is just how I think it will plan out uh, based on the challenge bracket, like I said. So let's run through losers round two. I have SB taking out Denial, Just Us taking out Elevate. I think the Envy can edge out a win over Curse New York. And obviously I have FaZe taking out Adversity. I do think that FaZe is a really strong team despite the team changes. Um, having Proofy and Jacob on the same team, like I said, uh, I forget which pro said you can't have them on the same team, but I think they can. I think they're a really strong team, especially within this last week if you've been watching them in the league. So losers round three, let's just play those out. I think obviously SB could take out Just Us. I feel like that could be a really close match. I think that a lot of these losers bracket matches are going to end up being really close. Like this FaZe versus Envy down here, I think that Envy is going to go ahead and take the win there. Uh, but like I said, Envy versus FaZe, you know, that, that could be a really close match that goes down to the last map, you know, last round in Search and Destroy. It really could come down to just one or two minor things that could change the whole series. But I, this is, this, like I said, this is my opinion is what I think could happen. So let's move over to win winners round three. Obviously, Complexity versus Optic. If they both win their first two matches, they will play each other. Obviously gonna have to take Optic right here. That's gonna send Cole to the loser's bracket. I have Curse Las Vegas taking out TK. Although I do think that TK is a really strong team. Um, I think that Curse Las Vegas, even though they argue, they have their moments, they're still a really strong team. That's three-fourths of impact, you know. Even their, their dysfunction somehow allows them to work well together. So in the winner's finals, we have Optic versus Curse Las Vegas. Uh, I think that obviously, you guys know, I'm going to put Optic to win everything because it'd be kind of messed up if I didn't, to be honest. And I really do think that they could compete with these teams. They've had poor land performances uh, for the last few lands. So I think they're definitely looking to kind of shut people up with this. So I'm putting them in the championship match. Optic's going to win everything, baby. Uh, so that'll take us to the loser side of things. Cole, I think, is going to take out SB. TK is going to take out Envy. And then Cole and TK will play again. Obviously, I think it's the last two or three land events Complexity and TK has played in the finals. I could be mistaken, but I know it was at least the last two. But obviously, TK has had some roster changes since then. And Complexity has only made one roster change in the last year or so. So I have Complexity taking out TK. That's going to leave Complexity and Curse Las Vegas to verse each other in the Losers Final where I have Complexity taking them to come back, play Optic in the championship match, and then Optic's going to win. Boom. You guys know I had to. Well, I didn't have to, but I definitely, I definitely am a big Optic fan. So you guys might think I'm biased, which uh, to be honest with you, I am. But I think that they could do it. I think that you know, they know that their back's against the wall. They have to perform well. And, you know, even if they don't take home the number one place right here at the U.S. Call of Duty Champs, um, qualifying, getting that top eight, you know, to go to COD Champs and then, you know, prepare for that, that is a huge step. So that is going to be massive. So as you can see it, uh, based on my bracket, this is where my top eight standings would be about. Like I said, this is just based off of the brackets that I found on MLG's uh, website. So I'm going to link those down in the description, guys. You guys should make your own predictions. And let me know what you have think. It, guys, that is my predictions for the United States Regional Qualifier for Call of Duty Champs. Obviously, I might be a little bit biased, okay, in saying that Optic is going to take it home. But honestly, I think that that they're a top team and I think that, you know, online, you know, internet and see, seeing online scrims and stuff, I don't think it's a true definition of a team's skill. I think that on land is where, uh, you know, it's all the teams are going to have to try and make it happen. So it's going to be a really awesome uh, weekend. I'm so excited to watch regionals this weekend. Like I said, uh, the, the competition is going to be insane and I just can't wait to see, you know, all these teams get together and finally play each other because it's been a, feels like it's been a bit, especially after all the team changes that's happened to see all these new kind of teams uh, face each other. So, so guys, I'm going to put all the links down in the description. I'm going to link you guys to the MLG bracket that I use in this video. And then also the challenge bracket. Uh, that's where I got the, you know, the loser of this goes to this part of the bracket. Uh, the challenge bracket doesn't seem to be correct, but it was tweeted out by like the casters and people within MLG. So 
Anyway, go check those out. I'd love to see your guys' predictions. Maybe you don't have to go through the whole bracket or anything, but maybe just put down in the comment section your top eight list. Obviously, I showed you guys mine, so I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this prediction video. Leave a like if you did. Make sure to comment and subscribe for future videos, and I'll talk to you guys later.